In Psalm 38, verse 15, the Bible tells us this wonderful statement written, and it says, Lord, I wait for you. You will answer, Lord, my God. One of the ideas that we as believers in Christ need to embrace is willingness to wait on God, willing to wait on the Lord to answer our prayers. You see, when we pray, but then after we pray, we give up hope, then what was the purpose of our prayer? Many times pastors get discouraged whenever they pray that God would grow the church or that a revival or something miraculous would happen in their church. And when it doesn't happen on the time frame, then they go and they resign to go to another church where they think the grass is greener. I want to let you know, pastors, if you're watching this, is that God is in control and his timing is always better, as you know, than our timing. If you look back in your years of serving the Lord, you know for a fact there's times that you're probably glad in which God Almighty waited to give you that answer. He gave you time to put in perspective what was really happening around you. Some of you are waiting and praying and seeking a new job, and you get upset when God doesn't answer that prayer, not realizing that you're about to get a promotion or a pay raise at the job that you have, and things are going to be so much better. Maybe you're waiting on a good test result, but yet you are waiting in a sense of worry, in a sense of anxiety. God wants us to wait, but God wants us to wait on Him, wait for His answer in His peace and in His presence. Realize that when you turn your weight over to the Master, my friends, your weight and the weight of your waiting will be lifted up. He'll help you through it. It's natural to be impatient. It's natural to want something to hurry up. It's natural to have anxiety. But my friends, it's supernatural through the power of Jesus Christ to be able to wait on God and boldly say, God, I'm willing to wait for your answer, for your answer will always be the best answer for my life, for my family, for my ministry. This is Pastor Ken Smith. Thank you for watching this devotion. Will you share it and tell someone about this channel and become a subscriber to this ministry? Thank you for watching and God bless.